Okay, welcome back to the channel. Hobby One Kenobi here. I'm very excited. Uh, I picked up this product. This is uh, the AK uh, Interactive Weathering Pencils for Modeling. And I have yet to work with these. So we're going to have fun. We're going to take a look at what this is and actually go ahead and put them to use on a model. The set is pricey. They apparently have uh, smaller sets that you can buy with just a few uh, pencils but they're probably a pretty good value uh, if you're limiting yourself to one subject. So I believe they have some for certain aircraft, they have some for certain armor, um, and if, you're, if you find this price to be a bit too high for the full set, probably better to just go ahead and get what you need specifically for that moment. Here we go. Okay, so, kind of fold out here. These are half of the pencils, it looks like, and the other half, great. I've got a little sharpener here that we could probably use. But let's take a look and see what we have here. Uh, so we have uh, every color has a has a name to it. So chipping color, so-called chipping color. All right. Um, some dark chipping for wood. We have some rust, sepia, dark green, light green, olive green, etc. Black, of course, rubber. Uh, dark gray, neutral gray, I'm seeing gold. Wow, very cool. Copper, some red primer. Wonderful for those World War II German vehicles. All right, looks great. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put them to use. Let's just jump right in. So I'm looking at my references and I think I'll go ahead and post a picture up there for you so you can see what I'm looking at, but I've noticed on these vehicles, these T-54, 55, 69s, the, the Chinese knockoffs, or the T-62s, what I find sometimes are photos of some chipping or scraping that has occurred along the sides of the vehicle, and in particular, this front fender. So I'm going to replicate that. Okay, so I've gotten a piece of paper here, and I feel like this uh, will mimic the surface, the matte surface, or the flat surface of a model best without actually working on a model. I didn't have one ready to go that was already painted, so we're going to work with a piece of paper. And I just kind of want to take a look at a couple of techniques that I learned from a couple of videos. So, first thing we can do, of course, is just straight draw from the pencil. Okay. So now we're going to use some water here and kind of see what the effect does. Now, I understand you can you you can apply the paint and then use water to move it around or you can just actually just go ahead and straight dip into the water. This is the method I'm going to use to actually apply the paint. All right, let's do it. We're going to go with this. We're just going to go straight onto the model. And as I understand, if it doesn't work, we can just take it right off and we'll return to oils. I'm just trying to get material on. Be a little too much water. Let's see. That's pretty good there. Okay. A bit of an outline if I can. So what I'm doing is I'm dipping into water here, a little cup of water. One dip into there, one dip onto the paper to remove the excess of the water. And that seems to allow a good amount of material to come off of the pencil. Okay, we're going to want this to dry. Okay, so I've got the basic shape here. It's not bad. We're going to let that dry and uh, then I'll come back and apply a little bit more as we need. Ooh, okay, well, what I'm seeing here. Yeah, if it's wet, it definitely clumps up like paint. That's interesting. All right. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is going to be round two. What I've done is I've removed 
the uh, weathering pencil material, it didn't quite work. It was uh, clumping up. I used a brush to sort of smooth it out, spread it around, which, which worked out fine. Uh, the color just isn't right. So I think part of the problem here is that I'm going to be limited by the colors. Now, I'm sure that if I spent some time with the pencils that I could mix and match blend colors. But I'm not really in a position to want to do that right now. So I'm going to return to my trusty oil paints and we're going to mix the color and we'll go from there. All right, so I think what we're looking at here is going to be a, a mixture of gray. So we're going to get some black going and I need some white, obviously. And I, I think there's just the slightest bit of brown in there. So I'm going to use a little bit of that as well. All right, so now going to want to have more white than any other color at this point. I'm not sure how much I'll need. I'm going to kind of kick some off the side here. There we go. And then I'm going to go into the black a bit. Not too much. Uh, it doesn't take much black to get a gray. That's about as much as I want to go. I think that'll work. Good. Okay. Yeah, it's worthwhile to really take your time and try to look at, you know, try to, I don't know, there's something about really just taking your time mixing the color that just goes a long way. All right. So now I'm going to apply this, you know, it's, it's thinned down, but it's still pretty, um, it's, it's not runny. I don't, I don't want runny right now. I want to be able to just drop it in certain places. I'm going to come over the side a little bit. And at this point, I think I'm just going to go ahead and add the details we go. So I don't get caught up in this sort of shape I was getting before. It's almost like these little like archipelagos hanging off the edge here. And they all seem to have a good straight edge to them as well. I don't wanna I don't want them to be fuzzy at all. So I'm gonna pull up it's a bit of a dent there, so we'll work on that as well. We'll pull up into this direction. I'm not going to do exactly what I see in the photo. I'm going to make it pretty close. And then I think there's a whole other set of patches, or a whole other patch kind of up here. A little bit of asymmetry to, to this 
helps greatly. And this looks to me like, you know, a scratch or scrapes that have accumulated over time. Let me show you the effect I'm, I'm going to add now. And I'm going to do it on this piece of paper. So this is the kind of look I'm going for here. That kind of look. All right. I don't, I like how it's misshapen. I also don't want it to be, I want to load it up with a lot of paint. You see how this is feathered here? It's a little bit softer. This is better. This one is pretty good. So I'm going to try to load up as much as I can and then just drop it in that spot and hopefully it looks right. Okay, so I'm gonna do that kind of on a smaller scale here. Because again, I've got too much, and it looks like, you know, archipelagos, right? Like Florida. <laughs> it's a little too shapely. So I want to kind of kick off of it and do away with that perfect look. That's not bad. Let me see if I can. And this one I just smudged into the other. I think that's probably that's going to be best. I think. Yeah, good. If the soldier's coming out here, footsteps all the way down. All right. Okay, I'm going to load up a bit. It's going to get a little bit harsher effect. Okay, so that gives you an idea there. I'm going to let this dry up and then I'll take some pictures and show you the finished product. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please hit subscribe. Please hit like if you enjoyed this video. Please hit the bell for future notifications of this build and future builds. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.